The new guns that got added to the game have had some changes made to them, and it's definitely not from people finding glitch spots from knock jumping. That's no, that's definitely not the case at all. That that is the case. The carbine had a massive reload buff, and the knock gun had a massive damage buff. And I also want to talk about some of the mechanics that have been discovered for it. So let's go ahead and start with the carbine. The carbine is a new primary weapon for the infantry class that was added during Guts and Black Powder's Halloween update. Right away, it was noticed to be a weapon that you shouldn't purchase, since the musket had more positives than negatives over the carbine, such as the bayonet, its accuracy, and the penetration of it all. The only upside to using the carbine was its faster reload speed, which was a whole two seconds faster than the musket reload speed. However, just recently, the reload speed has been buffed, with it being the same reload time as the officer's pistol, which is currently the fastest weapon reload time in the game at seven seconds. Nice. So instead of eight seconds, the carbine now reloads at seven seconds, and that is a one second difference compared to its release. One second may not seem like a lot, but it sure does matter during gameplay. The carbine now has a 3 second faster reload speed than the musket, which currently sits at 10 seconds. However, even if the carbine matches the pistol, I'd still choose the officer over the infantry for the charge option that it grants. So even though the carbine ties for the fastest reload speed, is it really the better pick? I also wanted to test how fast the carbine reloads with a Pfeiffer present. <clears throat> Overall, this is just a huge change and it will definitely turn some heads to the carbine. Now let's go ahead and discuss the knot gun a little bit. The knot gun was the other primary weapon that was added during the Guts and Black Powder's Halloween event for the Navy Men class. This gun recently had a massive buff added to it as well, increasing the damage per pellet. On release, the knot gun did 150 damage per pellet, and since the gun has 7 barrels, it did a total of 1050 damage if all of the pellets hit a target. Now, the damage has been increased to 250 per pellet, which brings the total to 1,750 damage if all of the pellets hit a target. So the damage got increased from 150 to 250, making it a 100 damage increase per pellet. Also, during the extensive shop tutorial video I made a couple of days ago, I timed the reload speed for fully reloading the knot gun, and the result was a whopping 27 seconds. That is almost half of a minute. However, there is a trick that not many people know about, and this definitely makes the knot gun a better weapon weapon to use overall. You can stop the reload animation for the knot gun and choose how many barrels you would like to reload, instead of the whole thing. During the reload animation, if you left click, which is also the shoot button, this will make your character pause at the current barrel being reloaded and will stop the reloading there. This allows you to choose when and how many barrels you would like to reload, destroying the mechanic of having to wait half a minute for it to be done. And another thing to mention is that they also removed the vertical component for knot gun jumping, so you can no longer launch yourself into the air. Instead, if you did try to not gun jump, it will merely slide your character horizontally either right or left. So the kickback remains pushing your character instead of launching them. I wouldn't be surprised if I see these two weapons being used more after this video, since the buff stats that they provide are actually pretty f good. And that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today for the update that they had. There were a lot of other patch notes that they went ahead and put into the game. We had to go ahead and talk about it today because it is a big difference, especially for the not gun. That is crazy, but for the carbine as well. Probably gonna expect some people to use that if it's the same speed as the pistol. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. And if you guys missed the community post, we will be streaming every Friday and Saturday for you guys. So that'll be something new on the channel to have a permanent schedule for streaming. Other than that, guys, that's gonna be it for me. My name is JMT, and I will see you in the next one. I'm under your bed.